Okay, so I threw together another short video showing how quick and easy it really is to replace the drive belts on my 2018 DR Power 26 Pro mulching mower. After receiving so many questions and comments about how I fixed my brand new brush hog from ghost walking by itself, this shows the belt change I made a couple years ago, selecting an AK33 belt, which is one inch longer than the original drive belt, because I couldn't get enough slack in that right hand trigger control to keep the machine from ghost walking. Here I'm adjusting the cable stretcher to be as slack as I can to make the longer belt intentionally jump off the drive pulley so I can show how easy it is to put the drive belt back on in the field. Because I'm using a one inch longer belt than stock, if I make the stretcher as short as possible, the belt will pop off the transmission pulley by itself if I release the drive handle quickly. Okay, so I have purposefully loosened the belt and thrown it off to show you what would happen if you had the belt so loose or the adjustment so tight on the handle that the belt popped off. This is what I do. So just to prove that the belt is off, I'm going to put it into gear. So I put it into gear and I really shouldn't be able to push it when it's in gear if the belt was holding. Okay. So this is what I do. First, I turn off the fuel. And right there. I turn off the fuel and then I lay it over on the side of the carburetor. And that is so that I don't flow fuel into the muffler. So once I do that, what I do is I tip this thing up. Okay, so the first thing I do is I make sure that the belt is tight around the clutch side. So you'll notice, here's the belt. I'll try to make it loose around the clutch. See if I can do that, there it is. See how that's popped up there? So I pull it tight across the clutch. I make sure that it stays inside the um, belt guide and like that. And then I simply work up here I get it around the drive clutch as much as I can and I'll see if I can pop it back on directly. I might not be able to and I might have to walk the transmission backwards a little bit just so that I can start the belt over it and it should pop back down. So there you have it. It literally takes me 30 seconds to pop a drive belt back on when it's in the field. It just took me a little longer here because I was describing everything and sorry for calling the pulleys clutches, but you get the idea. It's also worth mentioning for safety reasons, do not touch the muffler, which will be stupid hot if you've been running. And I'll show how to replace the drive belt here in a little bit. Yep, I've got it fully on there. And you can see how loose I've got the adjustment up top for the handle. So right here's the right here's the belt as it comes around the transmission, and it goes around the tensioner pulley. And you'll notice if I pull that tensioner pulley up as much as I can, it will tighten up that belt. And it'll tighten up that belt enough to drive. Keep in mind, I've got the one inch longer belt on here, so this thing is sloppy. It's a little floppy to begin with. Okay, so a couple questions have come in about how to take all this stuff apart and oh my god, how, how do I do it so fast? Uh, there is really nothing to it. This is how simple it is to pull the deck off. So on these brush hogs, there's just a collar on the top of the front belt. And as you can see, you pull the collar that holds this, you pull the pin that holds this, you pull the collar off, and then you have to get a half inch socket drive onto this. Really simple. You pull the pin that holds this, you pull the collar off, and then you have to get a half inch socket drive onto this. Really simple. So I'm not even going to use any of my fancy tools. I'll just use tools that everybody probably has laying around. Half inch drive. I have a small half inch extension. I actually have longer ones, but maybe everybody doesn't have them. The longer ones are easier. Okay. Put that in there. And it's like you're trying to tighten it. See how I'm doing that? And that is enough to take the belt off. Put that in there. 
and it's like you're trying to tighten it. See how I'm doing that? And that is enough to take the belt off. I'm going to set the phone down. You work one side of it off, like that, and you're done. So you just make sure that this pulley is clear, or the, the belt is clear of the pulleys. And it is as simple as backing this thing out. Of course this works better if you're not on the slippery concrete floor and on grass. I say it's as simple as backing it out. It's fighting me. There we go. Here is the main drive belt for the mower deck. So I'm going to get this guy out of the way. The only, the only thing that I would work on in this position would be trying to take the clutch off. So what there is, is there's, there's a shaft coming off the motor and there is a... Okay, so getting into uh, the bottom of this so that you can take the clutch off. You kind of have to hold the shaft to the engine. It depends how um, uh, how strongly you've got that uh, pulley attached. This is off the main drive shaft, so this is the bottom of the drive shaft you're looking at. So to unscrew this, you kind of have to keep the shaft from moving. And what there is is there's a tiny hole inside, underneath. It, it's over the top of the belt. Let's see if I can get my phone in here for you guys. There it is. So you'll see by passing a screwdriver through the shaft of there. See how I've got that in there? That's above the pulley that drives the transmission, which is back there to the right. Okay, so here's your transmission. Here's the main drive belt. And the drive belt goes around the pulley and clutch. So the real, really the only trick to any of this is rotating the engine so that you get the shaft to line up so that you can pass the screwdriver through that little hole. See how I got that right there? That's really the only tricky part of this. So let me zoom out and you'll notice I have the screwdriver through the frame to hold to basically lock it against the frame and then that goes in above the clutch and try to show it here okay so that's where that goes into the hole in the shaft and that will hold it enough so that when you turn this you can unscrew it okay so i'm going to try using the socket wrench um, it should hold with, with that in there holding the shaft, it should be strong enough. Depends how um, much that bolt is impacted in there, whether you can use uh, a wrench by hand to do this. I'll be trying to hold the pulley a little bit. <clears throat> there it goes. And it's that simple. It out. That's what the belt, the bolt looks like. Okay, clutch will drop. There's a power connector for the clutch, and it's got like a little. I don't know if you can see it right here. It's got a little tip that you have to get the guard up off of. Sometimes I can do it with my hands. Sometimes I need a screwdriver. So pull the clutch off. Now I don't know if you can see up in there. But I'll, uh, I'll move the camera so that you can see it a little bit better. Uh, here's the drive belt that we just played around with. You can see I've got my drive belt super loose. And in fact, it's so loose that I could just with my hand pull it off the, the transmission pulley. You see that? So I've, I've manually pulled it off. That's how loose this one inch longer belt is on here. But I like it that loose because it's it has much better control from the pistol grip. Okay, so right here you can see the, the belt tensioner. This belt tensioner works in concert with the handle for, um, for making it go forward. 
So what happens is, is you squeeze the lever on the right hand side, the cable stretches, and it pulls this belt tensioner in. You see what that does? Okay, so you guys who are having the problem with the uh, shorter belt that comes from the factory, the reason it's a problem is because when you try to release the handle, the, the belt tensioner can only go so far because the frame is right there. So the pulley ends up hitting against the frame and your one inch shorter belt is still tight at this point. And this is the whole reason why the um, machine wants to walk ghost drive all by itself. You'll notice I have this um, belt so loose that I can roll the belt without moving the pulley, without moving the main drive pulley. So because of that, I know that when the engine spins, it's not going to spin the transmission. But if you have the belt so tight that, you know, because you can't let any more out of the extension or the, the uh, cable extension, once it gets, you know, all the way to the frame, if the belt is still tight against here, you're done. There's no more movement. And that's why I advocate for the one inch longer belt. The one inch longer belt allows it, it's still tight enough. When you, when you grip the handle, you'll notice that the pulley still has room to come in here. And right now it is super tight. And then also when you release it, it's super loose. Got it? Seems pretty straightforward to me. I, uh, I don't know why people have so much trouble with it. And by people, I mean the people at um, uh, DR Power. So, watch. I'm going to pull this belt off just like I did here a second ago. Okay, so I've got the main drive belt completely loose. The trouble is, see these guides? These guides are held, in fact, let me get the screwdriver back out of here. The guides are held in place by these two uh, nuts. The nuts hold the guide, and it keeps the um, belt from coming off when you don't want it to. It keeps it kind of in the, in the channel on the main drive pulley. But watch, as I pull this down, because I've got it pinched now in my hand, I can pull that main drive pulley all the way off. Okay? So here's the main drive pulley. Nothing really to it. There's the key. Key goes in the slot. It's not very difficult. So the guys ask, and the people ask, how do you replace this belt so quickly? Well, you know what? It's really not difficult at all. What you do is you push the belt down and in behind this main um, transmission pulley and you kind of roll the belt up over the top of it. I'm going to try to keep my hand out of the way. You'll notice if you have the belt in the same direction as it is around the pulley, you can't fit it between the pulley and the frame. But if you roll it sideways, see how that goes in? So that's what you're trying to do in the back. I'm going to do it with my hand that doesn't have my eye watch on. So I take the belt and I roll it up over the top of that pulley. Okay, so there's the belt. So pretend that you just bought this belt, and by the way, let's see if the number's still on here. You can just barely see it. 4LK350, which means 35 inch, and it even says that 35 inch, and then it says 32, 33, I'm sorry, AK33. So it's 35 inch around the outside, it's 33 inch around the inside. And you'll see I've been using this belt a while and it's still in pretty good shape. Okay, this is the belt that I talked about from Amazon. So how do you put this thing in there? It's just as simple. You roll, and you don't, you don't put the belt in there straight. Don't put it in there like that. Put it in there like this on its side. So I'm gonna do it again. And by the way, I have the transmission in neutral. 
that allows me to spin the pulley without moving the transmission. And then I work that around the pulley. kind of roll it around the pulley just to make sure that I'm out. Okay. I popped it back off. That's how easy it is. It just wants to pop right off. Okay. So in the, uh, in the previous video I did, I talked about how you could take off the belt guide. Uh, you don't really have to take it off unless you're trying to make room. Um, so here's the main drive pulley. I'm going to pull this belt down. I'm going to put the belt in the pulley. I'm going to get the key. See the key? I'm going to get the key lined up on the shaft. Get it through there. Get this thing lined up. Oop, key came out in my hand. Even better. I might end up having to... Yeah, I'm going to have to take this belt off. Put it up in there after. Okay. Now I line, line the keyway. Here's the key in my hand. And you'll notice I've actually got this lubed up a little bit. The last time I was in here, I lubed all this up. Because there's no need for um, keeping that key completely dry. If you keep it lubed up, it won't rust in place. And I've got this so loose that the belt popped off again. Okay, I've got it in the transmission pulley. And now I've got it over the main tensioner pulley. And you can see how loose this belt is. Belt super loose. And I, I'm going to activate the handle now so you can see how much it moves. Okay. So if you notice when you release the handle that you hear a big clunk, that's the pulley hitting against the side of the frame and there, that sound. If you hear that sound when you release the clutch, you need a longer belt. Okay? It's pretty easy, I think. Hook the electrical back up. The electric clutch. Okay. Locked in there. Get the key lined up. Um, this looks like that. There's, um, oops, maybe if I put it on the right direction. See the two holes that are cut out here? Those go around these big bolts you see up. So there's almost no way to screw this up. Although I just tried, I know. Okay. There. Clutch is in. The bolts are in the holes that are in that frame. Pull it back down so you can see it again. There's one of the bolts, and that has to go into the slot in the clutch frame. And the shaft line back up. So I'm trying to think if I want this. I think I want this forward like this. Get the holes lined up, and there you go. So now I, I put this um, electrical connector back out towards the front, so there's no possibility of the belt tearing it up. I think that was a mistake I was about to make. And... main drive shaft back in. And now that I've moved this, I've lost my spot for the... Oh, I got it all lined up. It's actually still lined up. Put the screwdriver through the frame, into the hole. My 
neighbor having fun with his weed eater. And what I do is I just I give it a quick pull. I don't I don't I don't um, reef on it and keep reefing. I give it little snaps. And the reason is I want I want to twist the bolt. I don't want to twist the engine. So that's it. Pull the screwdriver out, and we're ready to go. I can operate this right now, but I'm going to put the deck back on so that you can see what happens with the deck. Okay, so I've got the machine still up on its handle. I'm going to move the deck to get it kind of aligned with where the hole is going to be. So then I go and I, I pass belt through this section. Right? Uh, sorry, don't put it around the pulley at first. Just get it in there. Line the hole. Can't see it. Like so. And I wiggle it. Okay. Bing. Put the collar on. Put the pin in through the collar. Okay, that's ready to go right now. Next thing you do is you reach up underneath. You get the belt on the on the main uh, engine pulley. So I've got it on there right now. Okay. Next thing I need to do is I need to kind of keep force on this while I'm getting this pulley out of the way. I always try to get this side first. We're done. We're literally done. So I have changed the tension. I have removed the drive belt. I've reinstalled the drive belt. I've removed the uh, mower belt. I've reinstalled the mower belt. All of that I can do in maybe 10 minutes tops. Normally, because I've got the belt, the drive belt set so um, so long, um, it does pop off. I'm, I'm not going to lie, it does pop off when I'm out there in the woods, but it literally takes me seconds to flip this thing up, get my hand underneath and get that belt back on. So, that's it. This thing's actually done.